Hey guys, it's here and welcome to Weekly Reviews, where today we will be reviewing I want my drum roll guy back. Kick ass. So I really wanted to see the second one tonight, but I'm too busy, so I'll have to see it next week. What a bummer I've been waiting so long. If you hear anything, it's just my phone. My cousin's Facebooking me. Um so yeah, today we're gonna review Kick Ass. Yeah. And I'm especially bringing you two reviews today. So you might want to thank me. If you don't, that's okay. So, um, yeah. In case you haven't heard of Kick-Ass or read the synopsis, Kick-Ass is a story about a normal, nerdy, dorky kid in high school named Dave Lazuski who thinks about how he could be a superhero without having powers. All his friends think that, think that it's stupid, but he orders a scuba suit online and then just calls himself a superhero named Kick-Ass. Now, along the way, there has been a kind of tough mafioso guy in New York City for the past few months named Frank D'Amico. He has been torturing people, cutting off their finger fingers, making them explode in human microwaves. Yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, um, also along the way, more super, no, more people want to become a superhero. For example, well, one second. Kick-Ass is actually played by Aaron Taylor Johnson. And other people want to be superheroes, like Hit Girl, played by Chloe Grace Moretz. And, um, Big Daddy, played by Nicolas Cage, which I just forgot, sorry, I sighed. Um, oh, and also, um, Frank D'Amico is portrayed by Mark Strong. And then there's another superhero named Red Mist, who wants to join Kick-Ass. Red Mist is the son of Frank D'Amico, Chris D'Amico. Now, Frank wants to kill Kick-Ass because he's been killing all of his men. Once he, once it turns out that he's killed a kid dressed up as Kick-Ass, we thought he was Kick-Ass, things get a little bit crazy. In this adventure, Kick-Ass, Hit Girl, and Big Daddy all have to, well, kind of search for Frank D. Miko, while Red Mist is kind of like that double agent kind of person in the flick. So let's just get straight to the review. Awesome, awesome movie. Now, when I saw this first in the theaters, I was around seven. Um, and my mom closed my eyes for, like, almost the whole movie because it was so violent. And I didn't like it too much when I saw it in the theaters. And then I saw it a few weeks ago online again. I outrageously loved it. And I got it on DVD. It's now one of my favorite movies. It was so weird. I hated it for one second, and then the next second, I just love it now. It's so weird. I love this movie. I love it. It's a great story. Amazing ensemble. Like, whoever thought there would be a movie and a comic... Whether it's superheroes without superpowers. This is, like, awesome. Like, who would ever think that? Like, it's just so cool. Like, kick ass. You have no powers, but you're a freaking superhero. It's awesome. Uh, never mind. That's for the weird sound. But it's just so cool that no powers, but you're a freaking superhero. And you're just beating people up and killing people. It's awesome. Now, I love Aaron Taylor Johnson's acting, like how he acted like a nerd and like a dorky kid and then became tough, kick-ass guy. Awesome, awesome movie. Amazing visual effects and how, like, the guy exploded in the microwave, spoiler alert. Um, like, vis stu visually stunning, just like District 9, if you haven't watched my review. Um, just a superb like, very cooked movie. Awesome. Like, amazing. Um, I don't know if Chloe Grace Moretz is the, was the best casting or Nicolas Cage. I mean, Chloe, that's not true. Chloe, Chloe Grace Moretz was good in the first one. I, I don't, I don't think she's good in the second one. She's too old. Like, it's like she's getting too old to be in the second one. It's a little bit weird the way she acts. Uh, in the second one, but in the first one, she was pretty good. Nicolas Cage, however, is not too good in this movie. Um, yeah. 
I thought he was really bad casting. He he just acted too low and calm. Like like it's like if we don't need you. Act like you're a tough big like act like you're tough. Your superhero's freaking name is Big Daddy. Be Big Daddy. I mean, like that doesn't even make sense. And like I thought Mark Strong did really did really well. I mean, I think this tough mafioso guy, he was also kind of subtle. That was really good acting by him. I thought um, whoever the director of photography was, I'll have to look you up and I'll tell you guys. Um, thank you so much for making this great movie. Great photography. Um, great camera work also. Um, and what was I going to say? Damn it, I forgot what I was gonna, I was, what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? I always forget stuff. Sorry about it. Wait, wait, wait. I just had it, I just had it. I'm tipping my tongue and I forgot it. Again. <clears throat> anyway, amazing freaking movie. One of my favorite of all time. I really want you guys to see it. So what was it? Oh my god, what was I going to say? Oh yes, I haven't read, I haven't read them yet, but I'm really looking forward to read the Mark Miller comics of Kick-Ass. If you had, maybe you should go pick it up. Tell me about it in, in the comments if you've read them before. So yeah, I guess that's it. Kick-Ass, amazing movie, go pick it up this week. Awesome, awesome movie. Now this week we're going to have a lot, a lot of reviews, so stay tuned for those. And it looks like we're going to have to give Kick-Ass one. Hmm. Oh yeah. Just, oh, wait, just before I say the reading. Just before I say, but just before I say the reading. There's a lot of violence in this movie, and there's a lot of sexual content and language. Just before you see it. I was just about to say something. I always, always forget stuff. <sighs> okay, so we'll have to give this one nine out of ten for Kickass One. Go see it. Go rent it on D. Go rent it. Get it on DVD. Watch it on TV. Watch it on your computer. You have to see this movie. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment and subscribe for more.